and I just put it, let's put it right here. Zinging in here, zing, big old strong tree. Look at that big tree. Oh gosh, that big old tree. And like I said, if you want you control that paint, you can do whatever you want to do. You can manipulate that paint. Tell the paint what to do. Okay, more paint down this side with throw a big old monster tree off this. That's a big old tree. You see all these trees like this out in the out in the woods, these big old trees that just they're just monster trees. They, they do everything. They go around, they go over there, make big knots on them and everything. That's a big old tree. You need that big old tree in here. If you take this knife and you hang it like this, angled, you can control it. You can do all kinds of things with it. Big old tree, big monster. Then you have a big monster root that hangs over. Like that right there. Big monster. Okay, and then maybe. Yeah, let's work on this tree now. I'm going to wipe off my palette knife. Just wipe them off. I'm going to wipe this paint right here up. To the side. Then I'm going to grab some more titanium white. Just a little bit of titanium white. I won't need much because um, I only got this one tree to do now. So we'll take the titanium white, a little burnt umber. I have to use the back side of my knife for this. And I'm just going to touch. It gives me all kinds of this birchy texture in here. And then I work it out. And it's going to mix with what we put on here with the palette knife. That's fantastic because it's giving us a mid tone. Put that much much paint on here, and it's already doing what I want to do. Well, once you control that paint, and you start to learn the paint, learn that paint you got. Many paint out there, and they ain't much. So it pays off to get a good paint. So we need more titanium white with that. And we'll roll that on that side of the blade. Where you want that light to strike? That's where you go. Then just kind of blend them back, blend them back. As you go, no pressure hardly. All right, that's fantastic. Okay, and I think he needs one big limb coming off him somewhere or another. Maybe two limbs. I don't know. We'll think. Let's take some black. Blue. Black. What have we got here? For Dumber. Crimson. Okay. And then I'm going to thin him down with some more thinner. You can use Amazing Clear as well. It's fantastic for this. I'm just going to grab the thinner because it's the quickest right now. Right there, it's open for me. I want a monster limb right there. Soon there he is. Don't be scared of him. Just go ahead and do it. What does what this does is pushing everything back. Everything is now gone. It's gone. And over here, we can put another limb. It goes right there. Goes all the way over to the side. Monster limb. A little more thinner. If your paint's like coming off of your, your brush too well, thin them down a little bit more. But this is a super fun one to do. Beginners, I urge you and recommend you to try out a canvas similar to this one. You don't have to put this big tree in here because this is a little more intimidating to put this big tree in here. But once you 
get the hang of it. I think you'll really will enjoy doing these these types of paintings. Anybody can do it. And if you're just now starting out, I recommend my new book, Painting with Magic, Volume Number One, which you can find on my website. It's a fantastic book. Many beginners have just purchased that book and they've fallen in love with it, doing all kinds of awesome and amazing projects now using that new book. So, there we go.